Good morning! Here is another one of my little live videos. So it's a video, but it's done live. We start almost from scratch this time. Not really from scratch because um, I take over the uh, mapped group, but apart from that, um, yeah. Today it's about how to make a pixel map effect which bounces, for instance, from left to right. Stuff like you see here. What I have is I have 40 dimmer channels. Of course, you can do it with moving lights as well. So it's 40 dimmer channels arranged 8 by 5. Um, and I have a pixel map effect running there. So I just wanted to show you the result, but we do it again. So everything on zero. Release all. Okay. I start on a new empty page and here is my group of dimmers yeah, just to have a look um, of course I did the group layout previously so go to shapes effects pixel mapper um, edit group layout and then select the dimmer group and I arranged it 8 by 5 how it is situated in real life have a look we um, go to highlight and we can click through one, two, three, four, five. You see it here, how it goes through. They are arranged in rows. Disable highlight, clear, exit. Okay, this is the group we are working on. Next thing is you want to create an effect. So create effect. Of course, he asks which group he wants to, he should make an effect on. And uh, to my mind, there are two ways to create um, pixel map effects which bounce from left to right, for instance, or from top to bottom or what. One thing is um, do it on two layers. This is what we do first. So we add something, a primitive. So we um, make it no 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 sorry um, we do the width we could do it numerically if you want like 10% width then the height should be larger like this okay this is our starting point um, and the X position is zero yeah, you could put it to minus 5, for instance, then it's really out. Then it is on this edge. Then we add an animation, a linear movement. In this linear movement, we set a spawn rate to 0.25. Because 0.5 would be, uh, just to show, if you set the spawn rate to 0.5, then it runs through, and as soon as it reaches this edge, it starts again here. So, but we want to do something like it runs through, runs the same distance over there, and only then starts again. So, we put it to 0.25. Okay. What we do next is we copy the whole thing to a new, new layer. So, we go to copy the block element, which also includes the movement animation, and copy this to layer 2. In this one, we select the movement animation, we change the direction to, ah, yeah, you can do it here, like this. So that one runs left right and the other one runs right left. And what we also need to do is we need to change the base position, the X on the second layer to um, 200. Yeah, and that's it almost. And now we have a beautiful bounce effect. Yeah, two layers. Uh, we started with one, set it to reasonable values, 
copied it over to a second layer, changed the direction and the base position. That's it. So the good thing is you can also add something like the blur effect or something and you are entirely inside the um, pixel mapper. So let's record this as one effect. This is number one. Number two, I press clear. We can try if it works. Of course it does work. So the second one is we use pixel um, mapper effect layer. So we start a new effect. Here, create effect and again do a little rectangle. But this time we only change the width and height. So very narrow and very tall like so. What we also need to do is we go to the layer, layer 1, and enable use master. Okay, this is our element. This is all we need to do in the pixel map effect here. Record this to say playback number 3. Clear. Next is we create the master. Exit and record and create master. We create the pixel mapper layer one master. Put it here. Exit. Exit. Now at least we should see something. Here we go. And now we create a chaser. So, we select our master, we go to position, and move it to the left, like so. Of course, if you use wheels on a real console, you are better than with that. This is our first chase step, record, record, in order to create a chase, you put it here, and this is our first step. And now we go to the right, like so. This is our second chase step. Exit, clear. And now let the chase run. So two ways to create a bouncing pixel map effect. Either two layers with a little bit magic of copying over the elements or you use the layer master and create a chase. Have fun!